Speed is an intriguing element in our world, whether it is with a running competition, how fast you drive on a highway, or even when you're supposed to cook, but you're hungry and impatient. But what impact does speed have on cinema? And does it tell anything about masterful filmmaking? That's exactly what I wanted to discover by watching one of the most famous blockbusters in cinema history. Except it's four times its normal speed. And that already has one advantage. Jurassic Park now takes about 32 minutes to watch. Maybe not instantly speed, but tempo is an essential part in pretty much anything. In a conversation for example, the ideal pause when one talks and then the other is about a quarter to half a second long. You're garbage, you kills for money. Don't talk like one of them, you're not. And when you talk? You don't... Wanna talk too fast. Especially when you watch a film with four times its speed, it sounds a bit like this. A human brain can process information to as little as 13 milliseconds. Yet apart from a couple of short words, you can barely understand anything. So dialogue is a no-go within 32 minutes of iconic cinema. But if I'm honest, it wasn't really disturbing. Yes, you do need a little more focus to follow it. But things like production design, characters, sound effects, John Williams' music, expressive emotions and Spielberg's long takes make it seem like the dialogue is just a small paper in a paper factory. So dialogue doesn't really seem to be a big part when watching a sped up film. Also mentioning that it's been many months since I last saw it. But does that say anything about... High level filmmaking? To partially answer that, Mr. Suspense, Alfred Hitchcock once said, If it's a good movie, the sound could go off and the audience would still have a clear idea of what was going on. Now obviously, there is no guaranteed nor exact formula that creates good or even classic films. But if you'd ask your average film critic, actor, director, cinematographer, etc. They most likely include conflict, character development, blocking and staging and plot function. All of these elements are still clearly visible. If we take Alan Grant for example, you have conflict, character development, blocking and staging and plot function. Spielberg did explain the film with extreme clarity through visual storytelling. Especially if you can still understand it without much dialogue and four times less screen time. That was just the film aspect or the filmmaking aspect. <gasps> Something that also plays a part in a sped up film is you. Let me explain. When an average human has to process, in this case, a film that goes faster than usual, your cognitive abilities will have to work harder. Which is why, what I mentioned earlier, you most likely need a little more focus. Except that with basically anything, when you're doing something at a high tempo, you're losing sight of smaller details or accuracies. Talking about watching movies efficiently, watching a movie that is more sped up doesn't instantly make it unfollowable. It mostly needs more cognitive power to process everything that's happening. Yet what we shouldn't forget is that Jurassic Park is a more slow paced piece of art. For instance, a film such as The Dark Knight has a more rapid tempo and is more likely to be less followable when played at four times its usual pace compared to Jurassic Park. All in all, I only have one more remark to share, that life uh, finds a way. <laughs>